So that's the why. <laughs> It was uh, Brianna. <laughs> I love candles uh, because I made it uh, by myself. Uh, maybe I like the candle. If I didn't watch uh, maybe movies and stuff and, and listen to music and celebrating. And During the pandemic, 26-year-old Jacob Stretton started making soy candles at home as a lockdown project. In 2021, he turned it into a business. My business is uh, BU Candles by Jacob. And I, I had my own Instagram and Facebook. He's been working hard at that, and then he had an idea he wanted to involve his friends in a project. So we decided to do World Down Syndrome Day candles. He has 10 of his friends in total helping him making these candles. And we break down the skills so it's easier for the participants to put the candles together based on their abilities. After we put the candles together, we do a fun social. So food is always involved. We play some games um, and just kind of have that chance to relax and socialize. World Down Syndrome Day brings attention to the community and helps promote inclusion. And our real focus has been this year is to support individuals in seeking employment and gaining employment skills. So for this World Down Syndrome Day, that is what the focus is, seeing the ability. The World Down Syndrome Day candles come in three different scents. The three yellow hearts represent the triplication of the 21st chromosome that causes Down Syndrome. They also have a special edition in blue and yellow, which are the official Down syndrome colors. They can go to our website, bucandles.com, and can purchase candles there, choose the association you wish to support, and 21% of the proceeds would go to that association. Or you can come and meet Jacob at his booth at the Down Syndrome Expo on March 23rd at the Burlington Convention Center. For Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.